Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220 KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. All right. Well, welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show this wonderful Saturday, every Saturday at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., making sure to guide you to personal and financial wellness. And today we do that in an unconventional manner by getting you into a home with no money down. And, you know, some people are going to turn off the radio. Some people are going to say, I can't believe we're doing that again, right? right. This is, this is going to be a controversial show, so I'm definitely going to get it out on Facebook so that we can debunk some of these myths and fears. And today I'm joined with Scott Crayon here from Skyline Home Loans. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. Yep. And Molly Ellis with Cal Halfa. How you doing, Molly? Hi. Doing real well. Thanks for having me. So I've been talking to Molly, and we've been doing on and off uh, doing business together for a few years, and we've been talking about doing this show because it's education. It is. And ultimately, that's what we're trying to do is make sure that you have the information when you go to buy a home to know all your options. And Scott, you can comment to this. A lot of the times what we find in our industry when someone comes to us is that they walked in, and I call this off-the-shelf loans. They walked into a bank and they walked out with a 30-year fixed mortgage, very basic structure, no complexity, no thought process into it. You know, It's just mm -hmm. pick it up off the shelf. That's what you get when you go to a bank most of the time. And I think we do something very different here, and we make sure you evaluate all your options. Right. I think there's got to be a complete evaluation of, of that buyer's overall you know, asset wealth, their um, you know, income versus the debts they're going to carry each month, and how long they're going to also be in a home. What's their time horizon? You know, the 30-year fixed isn't always the right fit for maybe a couple buying their – it could be their first home, but they happen to have a 14-year-old you know, kid that's going to be out of the home in four or five years – and they're going to move to Arizona after that. Right. You know, there is there is some value to at least present those options, and we do that on every single loan. Yeah, I I, I can't tell you. I talk awesome. to almost everybody about an arm, and people, oh no, I heard it's bad. <laughs> okay, listen, it's bad if you don't use it correctly, right? right and I, I don't right. want to get too political here, but I talk about arms being like guns. They got to put them in the right hand, in the right <laughs> people's hands. You got to make sure they're responsible borrowers that have demonstrated the ability to save and. You know, they have some right. upward mobility in their income and those kinds of things. Right. So, so that's our responsibility as responsible loan mm -hmm. officers. And you mentioned something, Scott, earlier about, um, you know, the industry getting washed out, right? Because anybody could do a loan in the past. Mm -hmm. So when licensing came about, so some regulation is good. So licensing came about and really flushed out like half of the market. And then the fact that you can't make easy money flushed out the rest of the right. bad seeds. And now we have a really good group of professionals that in general want to help, help people, people get into mm -hmm. homes. So true. Yeah. So... Yeah. I wanted to touch a little bit on this. We'll go back to where we were last segment. So we talked a little bit about getting two products, a ZIP loan, mm -hmm. which is a zero interest program, right. which I love. That's free money. <laughs> Everybody loves free money. But it's not free. It has to be paid back. So right. we'll talk about that. And, uh, and then the My Home product, which is also a loan uh, of 3.5%. So total, I'm taking 7.5% of the home's purchase price and borrowing that. Is that correct? That's yep. accurate? Yep, ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So tell us because Scott during the break says, hey, we got to tell people how these got to pay these back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, Zip is at a zero interest rate. I do want to throw out there that my home does have an interest rate tied to it, but it is so affordable. It's only two and a half percent okay. and it's simple interest. So it doesn't compound like a regular mortgage. So basically that means it adds up a little bit more friendly for our homeowner um, as they go through and it's all deferred. So I think I did mention this before, but it's important enough to say just one more time that it doesn't negatively affect the way the homeowner qualifies for the mortgage so that's super cool it's just going to help their cash into the transaction which is the number one reason why we can't afford to buy today it's not because we can't afford that monthly payment right it's because, you're making the monthly payment you're right, renting somewhere right, yeah, right exactly it's it's not about that it's about saving up that chunk of money that's between their minimum down payment and our closing costs to save all of that up is a little chunk of change and that's where cal hfa can come in and help yeah but they do have to be paid off Sorry. Perfect, perfect um, segue. You know, I mean, really the most common um, first time home buyer that we'll run into that are referred from our realtor partners is, you know, hey, I've got someone who's got to, re you know, renew their apartment lease or right. home lease in two months and so they're, smart. you know, petrified of it because they're about to raise it again and who knows where they're going to be the year after that. And, and really the mortgage payment um, total figures right now are not really outpacing rent. 
No, right now because of the situation, and you know, Don and I are always on the National Real Estate Cafe. So if you want to find out more, go to donandgino.com. Go to the National Real Estate Cafe. We actually go over that in really great detail. But right now, in almost, I don't remember the exact number, but in about 80% of the country, it makes more sense to purchase than it does to mm -hmm. rent because rents are so astronomically high. Right. And as a landlord, you and I can both comment to that. I'm going to raise the rent every time I can, as soon as I can, because that's what affects my investment. Right. And, and I do it as much. And Scott's a little nicer guy than I am. I pretty much, <laughs> I just, <laughs> he's like, should I raise the rent? They're really nice people. I'm like, raise the rent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but you know, I think I think we've we've you know, I think in general uh, the population right now understands that concept that rent is very expensive and it makes more sense to buy. But what's the problem we all run into? It's like I can afford the payment on a $400,000 right. house, no problem, but hey Scott, I only have 9,000 bucks. How do I buy that right right now or whatever the case is, right? Yeah. No, I'm limited perfect. to to bring in 3% or 3.5% down or 5% whatever that criteria is for that specific price point and and borrower um, but they can't get the closing cost covered potentially mm -hmm. so so how do you go about doing that one of the you know tried and true methods is to ask the seller to help you out mm -hmm. but in a in a market like we're in right now where there's generally in this price point where we're talking about where first time home buyers are purchasing for the most part those properties are priced aggressively already and there's multiple offers and Generally, the seller is not going to want to deal with the the difficulties that can arise from giving you a seller credit, which has to do really with appraised values being right. pushed. Um, and maybe you can talk about that for a second. Yeah. So typically, one of the things that will happen, and not a lot, again, that was a great point, Scott, because a lot of people don't bring this up. But almost every time that you have a seller credit, it will influence the appraiser's decision of value. Mm -hmm. And even in our comparables, they sometimes make adjustments for homes that had credits they're saying that's not the real value of the home. You actually agreed to purchase the home for a subsidized cost. The real market right. value of the home was actually lower. So it, we have seen some pressure points. Mm -hmm. And if the seller has the choice of to sell the home to you with a seller's credit or to sell the home to Scott with no seller's credit, he's going to choose Scott's deal every right. single time. And so where Molly comes in is bringing in that cash so it doesn't have to come from the pocket of the seller. Right. And so you don't have to ask your parents and they don't have to look at you funny. <laughs> right. And if you have to ask your par money for uh, parents for money, use it for vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just to kind of bring that full circle, that is exactly where the Cal HFA program works best is bridging that gap between what people have been able to save. Uh, again, along with the responsible lending aspect that we bring to it, it's a, more con a little bit more conservative loan. Um, another thing I wanted to throw out there is we also require that there be a home warranty on the property. Oh. So this helps a first time home buyer to prepare for home ownership. So if, if something does go sideways that first year they own the home that they'll have the home warranty to cover it. say they lose their heating and air conditioning they'll have the home warranty to cover it that's one of those protections that we that we do put into place to make sure that we're setting up the borrower for success in being a successful first-time home buyer yeah and being a first-time home buyer is a scary thing it is right? i mean mm -hmm. I, you, if we all for remember sure. the first yep. time we bought a house it was scary I didn't know. I didn't know what the process was like. I right. had to depend on others to walk me through it. And we do that. We do the best we can with our realtor partners to make sure that it's a great experience and that you think about those things. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you have any money for if something goes wrong? What if the water heater breaks right. next week? Right. Right. Because those things happen. Right. We've been in this sure. business long enough. So if you have a home warranty, it's 60 it's bucks covered. instead of 700 right. bucks. Right. It's covered. Uh, and things tend to break right when you're selling a home or buying a home. Yeah. It just happens. <laughs> um, you know, as I'm thinking about the other thing is, and now I'm going to get a little bit complicated here, but it's also a great financial planning tool. Sure. Because let's say you only have $10,000, Scott. And most people that are buying today, and we see this with all our applicants, is that they have debt mm -hmm. of some sort, whether it be student loans, credit cards, they have some sort of debt. So if I could take this money at 0% or 2.5%, this probably is much more favorable terms than any other debt they have. Sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the money they currently have in their pocket to pay off all their debts, and we're going to use this money to get into a house. And now you've made a really responsible lending decision. Right. Now you've put somebody into home with no debt. Yep. Right. And again, comes back to the overall analysis of your situation. And at Skyline Home Loans, what we're doing 
with every single client is doing a full evaluation to make sure you're in the right product, not paying too much interest, keeping some cash in your pocket, not only for if things go wrong, but you know, a lot of times if you're buying a new house, you might want to put in new carpet. You mm -hmm. may want to paint. Mm -hmm. So it's just a great financial tool that's out there, and it's still under very responsible lending practices. All right. Well, don't be scared. We're going to come back. We're going to talk <laughs> about getting into a house with no money down when we come back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. Stick around.